But it, yeah, this looks like the place to jump off. Where would we even land at? Do I want to jump over to like Riverwood or some shit? I don't know. Let's see, where's our Thieves Guild shit taking us? Let's take a look at this. Oh, Maven Blackbriar, okay. That's what we've got to do. I see. But, that said, perhaps our fastest path to Riften is not jumping off toward Riften. Perhaps our fastest path is actually going to like Whiterun or something, because it's so much closer, right? Oh shit, I'm so bad at this. Right click, there we go. Yeah, look, Riften is significantly further than Whiterun. This might actually be the fastest path, for real. Ooh, we should do it then. Let's see. What do you think, Ilya? What do you think? All right. Let's do it. I'm fucking ready. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Psych, Ilya! I fucking knew it the whole time! Woo! When we had last left the last dragonborn, they were in the small, quaint little mining village of Kynesgrove, where they had recently rid the world of Skyrim land and Tamriel and Nern, all of it of another dragon menace that had been resurrected seemingly by Alduin, the same dragon that they saw at the very beginning of their adventures in Skyrim land. However, in Kynesgrove, there were smaller problems that needed to be tended to. Indeed, local purveyor of mead, Rogi Notbeard, was in a bit of a bind with debt. But, however, unlike what you would expect, instead of doing debt collecting, old Dragonborn decided to help out the innkeeper, who was kind enough to let Rogi's debts go unchecked, because Rogi was such a nice, helpful person. Or maybe the innkeeper was very nice as well. Perhaps everyone there was just very nice. Then, afterwards, they took a whole bunch of Malachite from their mine and made way all the way back to the Serethi Farms, out by Riften area, where they not only also made a pit stop in Riften, where they upgraded their Riften house a whole shitload, but they dropped off some Jazz Bay grapes at the Serethi Farms. And they were very happy about it. And now it was time. With the horn of Jurgen Windcaller finally at in hand, the Dragonborn would set off once again into the great super mountain that dominated the skyline of Skyrim. Yes, back up the throat of the world to High Hrothgar. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Oh, that was so warm and, <laughs> and like wholesome. Welcome back. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that, man. I even did it. I felt good about it. <laughs> All right. Let's move on out of here. Let's get all the way over to Iverstead. I think we've dealt with all of our stupid business over there, right? Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Head on up that way. There we are. Over here toward the west, right? Good. By the way, when we were there talking to Rogi and resolving all those quests, General Viewer Rebuilt Gearbox wrote in and let us know that in fact, Rogi has at least one more additional quest, which will earn Rogi as a follower and a potential steward for wherever we would like. But I don't know if I would want Rogi as a steward. He seems like, uh, it feels rough to break up such a quaint little community, right, in Kynesgrove? I don't know. I feel kind of bad about it. <laughs> it weighs on me. It weighs on my conscience. Oh, who is this over here? Oh, this is the treasure hunter camp, right? Yes, it is. Has their stuff respawned yet? Barrel filled with salt. Oh, that came back. Okay, that was worth it, I think. Got some rabbit here as well. There we are. This tree was bleeding when they cut it. Very strange. Who knows why that was? <laughs> but also, uh, let's see here. General viewer also, Iris VP. Look at me, I wrote down shit. I took notes this time. I did good. Iris VP wrote in, saying that Dravinia as well, last time, in Kynesgrove, you'll remember, the one who sent everyone out there and hired, like, them all on as miners to do mining for Malachite, was actually in Morrowind. Holy sh- oh my gosh. But yeah, that person was in Morrowind land as a bandit, amazingly enough. Who are you? Who is this man? 
Talzgar the Wanderer. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's see. What should we do here? Should we get, um... Ooh, let's get a little bit of armor up. There we go. Good. Love it. Okay. Is he doing okay? Is this man doing okay? If I foos him. Ilya, what are you doing? Let's kill these spiders. Holy shit, this man might die. Jeez, what's his health even at? No sign there we go. <laughs> no sign of him. What's up, the Talzgar the Wanderer? And song is the life for us, eh, friend? Ah, <sighs> smell that fresh air? Truly, this is a good place to play a song. Yeah, does he only wander around here in the rift? Because I think we've we've really only seen him here. But that said, this is definitely the part of the region that we've spent the most time in, right? What are you doing out here? Why, to perform for my common man, of course. Why should only the courts and inns of wealthy towns be given the gift of music? I mean, I do like the, the idea of that. Here, have some money. For a generous fellow traveler. But of course, what would you like to hear? Uh, how about the Age of Aggression? Only true Imperials request that one. <laughs> you said that in a grim tone. All right, good. We'll listen to this while we <laughs> apply frostbite venom to our garbage. Protect love it. The Imperial. All right. Yes, the Imperials. We, we love them so much. Oh, we've made songs dog. about them and how much we love them. Oh shit! I've, I've got encumbered your myself. What do you want me to carry? Oh god, Ilya. <laughs> okay. Here, take some of this. Chickens' eggs. Oh, by the way, also chickens' eggs. General viewer Seleveth wrote in saying that. Eggs? Chicken's eggs? They come from the cloaca, or the clo cloaca of a chicken. Huh, there you go. Learn something new. That's some, uh... Look at that. We're teaching people stuff here on, on this Skyrim playthrough. Stuff that actually is not about just a video game. But you know what? Maybe could come in handy in a video game at some point. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, there we go. Good. You lead, I'll follow. Come on, next verse. Oh, shit. Hopefully we hear him say, Down with Ulfric. I don't think we're going to hear it. Hang on. The killer of kings. They'll drink and we'll sing. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> it's a problem. I always got to hear up to that part. I have no idea what comes after. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. An Invisibear. Oh, what? You're the bear? What the fuck is going on? Why did that sound like a bear just now? Who are you, dude? Why are you so mad? Ugh. Get out of here, dude. What's your problem? Oh, shit. Jeez. Oh, fuck. I'm getting a little hungry. Let's eat something. Get some uh, salmon steak in us. Oh, are you a fucking zombie? What was that? That was very bizarre. Two glass daggers, though. Not half bad. Take that. Potent aversion to frost. Well, that was weird, Ilya. It sounded like a bear, but it was uh, an Argonian dude. Maybe he was... Oh, look, there's the bear. Why did that man attack me? <laughs> what was his problem with me? He wasn't even a bandit. He was just an Argonian. What? <laughs> Usually we can smell someone's dead body and suss out whether or not they were abandoned. You know, that way we can feel good about ourselves after we killed someone on the road. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's get out. Ooh, let's get Frodo out, huh? Do we still have Frodo on five? Yeah, Frodo on five, baby. Yep. Boom. Get him. Let's also power up our shielding. Good. Okay. And then, unrelenting force still active. Beautiful. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. good. Get him, Frodo. Get him. <laughs> bear is too big to know what the fuck to do with a tree, huh? Look at this. This bear has no idea. <laughs> I could just 
Scooby-Doo the hell out of it here around the tree. Look at this shit. Bears are kind of dumb, huh? Oh, good. Gotcha. You know what? Here, I can blast you as well. Oop, that ain't a blast. Oh, I should probably do that, though. Here, let's try and soul trap it. Maybe. Hey, there we go. Good. Rip your claws off. Nasty. Heal on up. Good, good, good. Alright. We just carry around like a a pair of pliers, right? We don't have fortify strength to just like buff ourselves up and then rip off parts of animals and shit. No siree. Not an old Skyrim land. No fortifying jack shit through magic, right? Did they ever explain that? Because they don't they have like a canon explanation for a lot of the missing magic? But I don't think anything with regards to like the missing case of... Oh, shit! <laughs> Ilya! Oh my god! Ruthless! But uh, nothing with... Reg oh, shit! Ilya, cover me! Watch my six! Oh, look, there it is. There's a vicious wolf. Oh, no, it's just a plain one. Sorry. Oh, God. Ugh. There you have it. All right. Should I even loot them? I don't really have room for it. Okay. There we are. Heal on up. Good, good, good. Okay. Good. Let's travel on out over this way. A little bit further up north, right? Yeah, there it is on our dude Dar. Cool. Oh, look. Some fun fox and someone left their card out here. Oh, jeez. Maybe they got attacked by one of Temba White Arm's notorious bears, right? The ones that we have heard so much about. And in fact, have dealt with a whole lot, right? But yeah, as I was saying, I don't know if there was anything with regards to, like, restoration. How some of those spells are kind of MIA, right? Certainly there's stuff about levitate and mysticism, right? But I don't know if there's other shit? Hmm. I don't know. Weird. All right. Let's see. Yep. Here we go. This is our second time going up here. Second of many, I'm sure. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I don't remember how many times you're supposed to come up here, but I do remember one thing. And that's what I came up here a fucking children. lot, dude. Who it's gonna it. suck a butt. Let's see, are these tomates? No, these are potates. Do they not grow tomates around here? I guess not. Alright, fair enough. Let's head on up. Just as the sun is setting. Ooh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Alright. Hopefully we'll get up there before it gets super duper cold. And we, like, freeze to death. <laughs> or a blizzard sets in. Once more, we almost nearly die. <laughs> the air is already chilly. Great. Love it. Should we turn on the lights here? There we go. Oh, great. There's a battle bear here. Fire away! Oh, my God! Oh, it's mauling the shit out of me. Okay. Here we go. Good. Where did Ilya go? Jeez, look at this. Look at fucking Frodo go. Jesus, Frodo. You're fucking wild as shit. Alright. Oh, do some butt chopping. Good. Nice. Still not turning around. I love this. Good. Holy shit. You fucked him up. Oh my gosh. We're like a bear slaying machine now. Holy hell. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, it probably was eating this goat. Oh, wait. There's good things on goats, right? Hmm. I think goat horns you use in Hearthfire, so maybe we'll rip some goat horns off. <laughs> I can't help but uh, be reminded of that fucking wild-ass animation in Red Dead 2. Where fucking... You just... Like some of the smaller animals, you just grab right under their butthole and just rip everything right off. That's probably what the Dragonborn does, right? With like bears and shit too, and like, <laughs> and dragons! <laughs> dragons as well, that's how we get the scales off, right? Because you don't ever, we don't see the, uh, 
the furs and stuff, there's no special animation for taking the furs off, and there's no nasty ass image or model of like a furless dead bear or whatever the fuck. So I can only assume that as soon as we kill a dragon, we just grab that dragon right by its butthole and just rip all of its skin right off in a we just like strain and struggle a bit. And then suddenly oh, all the scales come clattering and shattering off. It sounds like a china shop. It sounds like a dragon born in a china shop. What does that even mean? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's take care of this terrible fiend. Oh you wretch! Oh oh! Oh shit! Oh god, that scared me. Ooh. Here we are. Look, I'm going into my hidey zone. Get him, Francine. Get him. Get him. Let's see. How much power does a frost troll even have? We quick saved up there. Look at it run. There we go. Shit, dude. It's got a lot of power, huh? It's gonna fucking get me, huh? Oh, God. It got me. Okay. <laughs> Where was Francine even? Shit. All right, here. Let's play it safe. Bound bow time. There we are. Oh, look, it's running away. Who knows where it goes? There we are. Get ourselves some... Well... <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck just happened? What? Were there two? Oh, yeah, there must have been two. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, speaking of Scooby-Doo shit going on, yo, that was fucking wild. All right. Look, drained from watching Francine kill a fucking frost troll. There we go. Oh, look, Ilya showed up to the party as well. Look, it's dancing and shit. All right. Jesus. This thing is pretty fucking powerful, it's gotta be said. I think I missed that one. Is it that every time you land a hit, you get like the telltale sort of noise? Like that? I think that's the case. It goes to show how little I use archery. <laughs> okay. Here we are. You're doing great, Ilya! You're doing great! Holy shit, if anything, we should help her out and get another Francine. Francine Mark II, engage. Let's fire off another bow here as well. Look at this, it's free archery levels. Do they run at the sight of Francine? Is that what's going on here? Are they, do they fear her? There we go. But there is one they fear. Francine, the Flame Atronach. Oh shit. Oh my god. Yo. Alright. Still with the uh, over encumbrance. Even tried to do a reinstall of the unofficial patch, but hey, what can you do? Alright. Great. Well, maybe not so great, but acceptable. <laughs> Alright. Up we go. How many more steps have we got? At least like 900, right? Fuck. Yo, yo, yo. This is gonna suck, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a counter of how many times we go up and down this shit, right? Good God. What a nightmare. Because the worst of it as well is that we gotta come back down? Like, holy shit, are you for fucking real? I mean, I guess someone uh, a couple vids ago suggested that when we go up, or that, not not necessarily here, but that the shout that we learned becometh oh shazpot who's here to get me are you kidding it's another frost troll i'm gonna run from this one dude can i like make them be peaceful can i be at peace with the trolls maybe i can we'll have to see for now i'm just gonna fucking run <laughs> okay yeah it's fading it's in the distance because it is getting quite cold now not good Alright, if I jump, do I go a bit faster because my my vertical speed is, like, slightly increased? Oh, you mean this isn't like Morrowind where I can just jump at a diagonal and go a little bit quicker? No? <laughs> okay, fair enough. There we go. One of the things, you know, the movement feels a lot more natural, right? We've come a long way 
with like, you know, slight bits of head bob, shit being like a bit more manipulated by the environment and all that. Still not quite with the steps, right? Though maybe that's for the best, because if, if it's simulated head bob with each step, you'd have to imagine some folks would get motion sick. Myself included, I'm not sure. I don't know. Though usually motion sickness doesn't get me, at least in games. In real life, it'll fuck me up. My god, sometimes like, in a car, going down like a really windy road will fuck me up. Good lord. Never used to be the case, but now I guess I'm just getting old and becoming a fucking baby, huh? Damn. Are you kidding me? There's like, this is just the frost troll path. Okay. Let's see, let's test it out. Frost trolls? Do you know peace? I offer peace! Cut! Oh, yes! Frost trolls are at peace! Oh god, why is it still showing up red? Is it trying to get me? It lit up! This frost troll is lit up! Are you a piece or what? What are you doing, dude? Oh shit, I don't think it's a piece! <laughs> oh god, I hope this is the right way. I think I've gone off the trail. Oh, at least I can see it now in the distance. Are frost trolls not like some kind of peace-loving animal? Do, is all they know violence and rage? Good god, honestly, same. <laughs> okay. There we go. We're fine. I mean, we are like a quarter of the way dead already, but hey, I think we're we're nearly there, right? Just up around this corner, I think. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, it takes like almost, let me see here, almost like 15 minutes to climb this fucking mountain, right? Holy shit, if we knock off like five minutes and how long it took to uh, get to the foot of the mountain. Like, damn, dude. What a fucking trek and a half. Alright. Shit, no, this isn't even it. No, yeah, this is it. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness, because we're about to really just have a bad fucking time. Oh, do you think Become Ethereal would protect us from being frozen? Hmm. I don't know. We were thinking about... About the Time Stop stuff. And general viewer Samantha wrote in saying that, in fact, it does work exactly how we figured, right? In that although we're slowing down time, we are still operating at nominal speed. So, of course, we're absorbing coldness or evacuating heat from our- Oh, God! Where am I? Is this the hell zone? Jesus! Oh, my gosh. It was so blustery there. It terrified me. I thought that we were in, like, no man's land. Okay, now we're fine. This is just how fucked up it looks when you come here like a fucking fool. Oh, God. What a nightmare. How do they even, like, make it up here? Do they have, like, some sort of shout they just shout at each other and warms themselves up? They're just breathing fire on one another? Greybeards, y'all are weird as shit. <sighs> but yeah, the time stuff. You, s you still get cold at a regular rate, but I wonder if because Ethereal... Becoming ethereal does manipulate your own physical body in some way. Perhaps that would mean that you would, in fact, ignore the cold. I don't know. That seems too smart of an idea to be able to even consider the idea of programming it in, right? <laughs> I wouldn't p blame it against them, right? For not having the foresight to put that in. And for all we know, you know what? Could have easily explained away saying, hey, it is magic. All right, are we actually warming up here, or, or is this all just for show? I'm standing on this thing. <laughs> Good God. What's going on? I'm not getting... Oh, there we go. Okay, finally. All right. Whew. Everything's returning to normal colors. Good, good, good. What is this guy even doing? He's just looking at this big rock? That ain't no word wall, dude. Huh? Yo, you know what I found out? I found out, um, I forgot how I came across it, but I somehow wound up on the UESP page for the word walls, and all of them, all of the words on there are unique for each individual wall, and they all say something. I never fucking knew that. I always thought it was just like, it shows between like, I don't know, 10 or so different random ones, but every single word wall is unique in its inscription, and it all says some different weird ass thing. It's so wild. Like, you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> if anything, you know what I would have done if 
if there was some way to be able to do it, and I have no idea how, how you would even do this, but ideally, after you learn the word, all of the words light up on the wall and get translated to, like, English or something. <laughs> Though, that said, you would have to, like, rewrite it for every language that you localized in, wouldn't you? I don't know. Seems rough. That's a good question. How are... How is language... Like, word, written word, in-game, changed for localizations. Like, if I saw... Like, we saw the inns and stuff that have their names. Well, no, I guess that's a proper noun, right? But is there any... Are there any words that we see in the world that get translated in localizations? I'd assume that they don't have the art team go and do it, right? Localization is probably a completely different team. Man, we're getting really inside baseball here. We're warmed up now. Okay. Bori... I can still see some weird shit coming out of the ground. I'm sure it's fine, but I probably wouldn't sit near it. Or maybe he likes to sit near it. Maybe it feels good going up there, up through those ropes, huh, Bori? <laughs> Bori knows. <laughs> Alright, let's see, over here. Who are you? Wow, look at this. What? <laughs> look at this mood lighting. Wow, look at that. How did you perfectly get it to do that? That's just magic. Wolfgar. Okay. But at the same time, he is totally clipping right through that. We'll just ignore it, you know. Open world games. There's a give and take, right? All right. Let's see. Rise and shine on gear. Guess what? I got the horn, baby! Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Rinko. He just wakes up and well fucking done. knows, dude. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Dude, awesome. But I should probably tell you, there was... It wasn't in the cave at all. Someone named Delphine took it. She's a part of the blades and everything. I went and killed a dragon. I walked from, like, Riverwood to Kynesgrove. That said, I walk most places. <laughs> it was wild. We went on a journey on gear. I learned something about myself. And it's that I get cold real easily, and I, it's good that I have a camp thing with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on gear. He's not liking this. Oh shit. Oh, what's gonna happen? I don't even remember. Ooh, I'm ready. They're gonna at least teach me you my are power, ready right? To learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. Cool. Da. Da. Why we got put on the floor though? With all three together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Okay. Look, they sing it too. Da 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 da. <laughs> They're letting me know which one it was. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, I'm stuck here. You have completed your training, Dragonborn. We would speak to you. I'm going to receive your greeting. Prepare yourself. If you can withstand the unbridled voice. Why are you going to do this to me? This seems mean. Oh. Yola dick, stop it. Close your ears, Lydia or Ilya. Jeez. Oh. It's literally shaking my eyeballs in their sockets. What if y'all just killed me right now, dude? I don't even know what you're saying. Something about Atmora. Sure, Khan? Good. Oh, Jesus. These guys are trying to fucking destroy me. Like, blood is just pouring from my ears now. Holy shit. Dover King, you have tasted the voice of <laughs> I've the tasted it. and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Good God. You would think that would be like a Metal Gear torture scene where you have to, like, slam the attack button as your health goes down. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up, Arn Gear? Arn Geyer? Gier? Sky, got you. What was that ceremony all about? Were you shouting at me? Yeah! Man, how dumb are we? <laughs> Come on! Were you shouting at me? 
We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. Mm. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar, before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Maybe I should change the ceremony, cause fuck me. Ah, I what sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a You're rough funny. translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath, we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shor, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, a dragon of the north. Hearken to it. Are... So in their belief, we are we like the reincarnation of Ismir? Is that legit? Are we like the Ismir Areen? Huh. Damn, you got a lot of shit to say, huh? For a guy who, like, never fucking talks, he's probably got the most to say in the da whole damn game, huh? <laughs> I'd like to learn more about the voice. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. What? But there are many words of How? power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here, we can feel the thun resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. Oh, I mean, why not? Why not learn one? That way we don't have to come back up here again for just this. You locate any words of power? We have felt the whisper of a word. Oh. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Cool. Dope. By the way, have you seen my map? It's really fucking wild, Arn guy. <laughs> it's like, it's such a weird looking map. <laughs> it looks just like real life. Whew, I don't know how how it works, but my god. <laughs> Sky, got you. Mm, okay. Let's see. What do you have to say? Can can you talk to me now? Dova King. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Over here. What's up with you, Einarth? Can I get him to talk? Can I? Can I get him to talk? Can I get him to talk? Oh shit! Wrong thing. <laughs> All right. Let's see. There we go. We'll have to try that on one of them. <laughs> Do you think they'll get mad? Does it even work on them the same way? I don't know. All right. Honestly, now I'm very curious. Let's see, is there anything else here? We kind of really searched everything, didn't we? Yeah, we've done our due diligence. Very exciting now that we have the Fus Ro and the Da. Good, good, good. All right. Let's see. Is this old Arngeyer over here? No, this is Wolfgar. Dova King. Jeez. It's weird, they could solve a lot of problems if they, uh... If they went out there and taught people the way of the voice, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it almost seems a little selfish in a way, right? I don't know. Or at least use their own, right? Because not everyone can... Can use the Thum, or can they? Can people be taught in the way of the voice? Yeah, they can. That's, that's how they did it, right? They learned over years and years. Our thing as Dragonborn is we can very quickly and easily pick it up. Oh, all right, here we go. Arngar, rise and shine, baby! Oof! It didn't do much. He said, oof. Oof! Sky above, voice. Bummer. Breath, don't focus. Okay, let's take the rest of this. There we are. Potion of haggling, some venom. Great, now I'm carrying way too much. Let's get this lavender. Good. Okay. What's this? Life of Uriel Septum. Okay. More lavender. Why not? We'll just take all this. I guess last time it was considered stealing, huh? Which is why we didn't take it. But now I guess we're in their good graces or something. Okay. Cabbages. I'll take two. Eat three. Oh, can I sleep here now? Just, oh yeah, wow, dope. All right, let's sleep. Let's go for, ooh, 
let's go eight hours. Why not? It'll be nine. Good, good, good. All right. There we go. We'll have to give Ilya some of our weird shit just as well. Oh, let's level up our stamina, of course. There we go. Great. And what should we level up here? We could work toward more illusion. We've got heavy armor in need of some shit just as well, right? We could work toward this more. Also useful. We could level up block a bit. How's our smithing look? That's a good question. How's our smithing look? Oh shit, we went completely the wrong direction. Over here. And... Ebony armor at 80. We're almost there. What do we need for... Crafting glass? Oh my god, it's way over there. But doesn't it loop around once you get to the tippy top? I think so. So maybe we won't F with that. Okay, cool. Nonetheless, maybe we should uh, build toward that, right? Uh, or we could do one-handed. That might be good. We're already at double there, but we can reduce our stam cost, right? Or we could up the power of our of our bash, right? Because I love to bash. We could do that. Chance to disarm as well when power bashing. That seems great. You know what? Let's do it. I love using shields. There we go. You know, when the game first came out, I thought like, holy shit, because they use the shield using Dragonborn right so much you. in all of the promotional art and stuff. I would have thought that do you want me that would have ended up being the most popular build. But as it turns out, yo, Stealth Archer, I guess. Shit, more you know, right? Okay, let's deposit some of this. There we go. Good. Take some wheat, take some of this, some of that. Good, good, good. Okay, death bell as well. Oh, these glass daggers as well. All these fucking daggers, right? We don't need them. Okay, cool. Lead on. Oh, look, is Ilya about to do start, like, dual-wielding super glass daggers and shit? Oh, look. We just gave her some shit, now we're picking up more. <laughs> she hates that. <laughs> she hates it when we do that. Okay, oh look, more potions here. Regen, bread, a chicken's egg, some red apples. Should we take their food? Now we'll leave some of the food here. Yeah, we should really leave the food here just in case, remember? I totally forgot that we were doing that. That was such a good idea. Now look at what I've done. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see. Let's eat the apple at least. Eat some of this. Good. Okay, oh, look at this guy. Hey. Nova King. Okay, so can we jump off of our fucking whole ass over here at the courtyard zone? Or what? Let's take a quick peek, right? Let's see here. Hmm. Where would even be like a good point to jump from if we're going to jump off of this shit? I mean, honestly, this looks pretty fucking rad. This looks like, ooh, so blustery here. But it, yeah, this looks like the place to jump off. Where would we even land at? Huh. Oh, Shazbot. Let's remove that. Okay, so we would kind of land a bit forward over there. So maybe that's actually not ideal. Do I want to jump over to, like, Riverwood or some shit? I don't know. Let's see. Where's our Thieves Guild shit taking us? Let's take a look at this. Because now that we've got our Fusro Da, I'm kind of down for hitting up some more Thieves Guild shit. All right. Oh, Maven Blackbriar. Okay. That's what we've got to do. I see. But, that said, perhaps our fastest path to Riften is not jumping off toward Riften. Perhaps our fastest path is actually going to, like, Whiterun or something, because it's so much closer. Right? Oh, shit. I'm so bad at this. Right-click. There we go. Yeah, look. Riften is significantly further than Whiterun. This might actually be the fastest path, for real. Ooh, we should do it then. Let's see. What do you think, Ilya? What do you think? All right. Let's do it. I'm fucking ready. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Psych, Ilya! I fucking knew it the whole time! Woo! Look at her go! <laughs> gotcha! Gotcha! 
Gotcha! <laughs> Is she dead? Is she dead? <laughs> No regrets. Is she dead? If she's dead, <laughs> I don't want her to be dead. <laughs> she's back! She made it! Oh, God, you beautiful witchy woman. Oh, I love you. <laughs> fucking amazing. The best shout in the whole fucking game. Give it up for the Fusro and the Da. Oh, my God. <laughs> beautiful. Mwah! Chef kiss. Oh, I love it so much. All right. <laughs> Let's see if I fucking die now. My turn, Ilya. <laughs> I gave you the test run. You did survive. All right. Here goes nothing. Yep. Fine. Yep. Oh, God. How long does it last? Ooh. <laughs> oh, this game is fucking great. Oh, old Skyrim land shit. Oh, look, we're seeing the low-res rocks here. <laughs> Pay them no mind. All right, let's see. So we need to head over this direction. Oh, oh God, I'm like walking on sunshine here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, good. Can we shout mid-air if we like take a tumble? I don't know. Let's fucking like run down here. If only I could like Breath of the Wild this shit, whip out the shield and ski down it. Oh, that would be so legit. Yo, put that in. Put that in Tez 6. <laughs> Give me more cool shit to do with a shield. There's a lot of cool things you can do with a shield that aren't just, like, hitting people with it violently. There are a lot of cool-ass things. I want to do some of them. Oh, look, this is an area you can actually walk around in like a normal person. Huh. There we go. Man, that was so fucking legit. <laughs> fucking Ilya. Oh. To be clear, yeah, that was that was no mistake. That was for your benefit, channel viewer. <laughs> I totally knew what I was doing there. That wasn't Sometimes I'll make a mistake and I'll accidentally use the wrong fucking shit. That time I knew. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Shit, honestly, I maybe I even liked it more than than everyone else. <laughs> Oh, Ilya. What a fucking champ. Alright. Can I... Can I even, like, navigate here? Oh, gosh. Through the fun crevasse. Jeez, man. Oh, look. This might be another good jump-off point. Holy shit, I think it is. Alright. Here we go! Fine! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah. Motherfuck! Uh-oh. This might do us in! Oh, we're still alive. Uh-oh. Just in time. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Stormcloaks? This is a Stormcloak camp, right? I think it is. What's up, you old bastards? Guess what? I'm the D-born, baby. Check me out. Alright. Oh, hey. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak What's wants up, to see What's up, Jorn Scar yeah, Head Smasher? They're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Wow, he's lost morale for the war. <laughs> he just fucking quits on the spot. Talos guide you. Hey, how do you feel about this war? Skyrim is the birthplace of humanity. The birthplace of honor. And those snow-backed Imperials renounced both when they laid Christ. down before the Thalmor. Worse still, to pay for the privilege to keep his throne, the Emperor sells Skyrim and our very gods, Talos no less, to the damn elves. And what did Torig do? He and the Owls that supported him, they took the Emperor's gold, sold out their people for a slave master's peace treaty. Ulfric did right killing him. Soon we'll rid Skyrim of elves, their bloody Justicars, and the Jarls in their pockets. The whole damn lot of them. And we'll cleave through the Legion to get to them. He pronounced it Justicar. I thought that there were, like, two words. One was Justicar, and that one would have been Justiciar. Right? Maybe I'm fucking dumb. It's been known to happen. Why are you called Stormcloaks? At first they called us that to belittle our cause. But we gladly accept being named for Ulfric Stormcloak, 
the only true High King of Skyrim. Really? We are they the called you that to belittle you all? Skyrim and Ulfric. He is the truest of us all. That's like we the fucking dopest name ever. More, to raise up strong noble thanes and lay low false jarls and the cowards who hide behind them. The sound of our fury is a storm about to break on the heads of our enemies. Our friendship is a cloak out. of true brotherhood for all who would wear it. Alright. Except for the fucking elves, right? <laughs> Unless they bend the fucking knee, right? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright. Let's head on out, huh? Let's grab a horse here. There we are. Good, good, good. Which direction do we need to go over here to Whiterun Land? Alright. Can we do this from stealth, or should we just say fuck it? Maybe we just say fuck it. Yep. Alright. Whoop! See ya! There we go. Come on, Elliot. No time to fuck around. We gotta get going. Oh shit. Some rough country here. Oh, oh, oh. We're fine. We're fine. Whew. Speed mode engage. There we are. Man, look at this. Gorgeous view ahead. Holy shit. In this, like, tundra area. You would call this biome a tundra, right? Yeah. Shit, I would. But then again, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> hey, who are you? Who is this man? Alright, we're gonna quick save while we're on the horse. Just in case it, like, goes flying. Balbus! What can I do for you? Hello, Balbus! I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste's so refined when I offer them to him. Wow, you're cool. You have heard of the gourmet. Wow. I think I have in that one book, right? I have. Then you know that Gourmet keeps his identity a secret. I'm hoping to discover who he is so I can tell him how he changed my life. For all I know, the Gourmet is a woman. You know, I've heard wow. Gourmet is in Skyrim right now. <laughs> what a thing to say. All right, sure. Oh, man, my horse really fucked off, huh? Jeez. How far did it fucking go? Oh, my God. Oh, get back here. Get back here. Fine. Oh, shit. I used the wrong one that time. I was going to Fusro Dodd and make it stop. All right, we didn't need to, though. Oh, ethereal theft. Zoom, 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 zoom. There we go. <laughs> good God. It, it feels fucking great to have the Fusro Da. It's got to be said. Fuck, it's so good. <laughs> All right. Let's head on up and around into White Run Town. Yeah. Actually, you know what? This would be a great opportunity as well for us to get some shit done, right? In town. All that, right? Hmm. Maybe. Now, we'll go and check in with Maven first for the Thieves Guild. And then we'll do some vendoring shit once we hit up Riften. That seems like a better move, right? Look at us. Planning a fucking itinerary. How responsible. Honestly. Look at me go, Mom. Holy shit. <laughs> My mom doesn't watch this. <laughs> Alright. Let's go on over here. There we are. Up and over. Ooh, come on. Give me some speed. Oh, all out of carrots. Okay. And then, climbing back and we'll be off. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Need a I can take you to any of the holes. You know what I like to hear, Bjorlum? Where do you want to go? I want to go to Riften. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Thanks, dude. I can't wait here forever. I'm whoa! I'm going fast, dude. Look at me go. All right. Wow, he wouldn't even tell me a fun like story about wherever the fuck we're going. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> He hates it because I was fucking mocking him, I guess. I wasn't mocking you, though, or at least, I mean, I guess he, that, he could totally read that way. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Ilya, we're in the dragon zone. Here it comes. All right. Let's fucking take it out, I guess. Get down here, you dickaroo. Good God, will it even, though? I don't even know. Maybe this one will fuck off. I have no idea. It's 
It's kind of going on the periphery here rather than right at us. Yeah, look, everybody, it's a dragon flying around town. Call out the wizards and archers. Start blasting it. Are you gonna get me or what? Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'll foos ya. Foof! Yeah, you like that? Yeah, you heard that, huh? Turned its head at me. I don't know if they do actually respond to shouting. Yo, this one's fucking off for real. Oh, you butthole. All right, well, what the fuck can you do? <laughs> All right, we'll go over here. Go on inside, and we'll check in with Maven, right? We can do that. All right, hey, did y'all see? There was a dragon, like, flying around screaming at everybody. What the fuck was up with that, hmm? huh? Sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Your experiments? What experiments is she talking about? If you huh. got the coin, you've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Let's see here. Who's this creepy guy? Go on guy? then. Deliver my message to Sibby. Okay. I don't even remember what he wanted. <laughs> oh dear. Are you in the basement or up above? Up above. Okay. Let's do a quick save just in case. What's up, Maven? So you're the one that burned down Golden Glow Estate? Yeah. Do you have any idea what that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? Whoops. Do you have any oh, idea God. what oh. that little stunt you pulled is going to cost me? I'm amazed you even bothered to show your face here. You can't see my face through this hat. My apologies, though, Lady Maven. The only reason we're having this conversation is due to Brynjolf's assurance you won't botch another assignment. He claims you possess some sort of uncanny aptitude for your line of work. Quite frankly, I find that hard to believe. Me too. I'm the best at what I do, and what I do isn't very nice. Oh, sorry, you're disappointed. How about we skip the conversation? <laughs> let's, let's just lie. I'm the best at what I do! Is that confidence I hear? Or is it arrogance? Both. Strange how often they're confused. You have to understand. It's been a long time since Brynjolf sent me anyone I can rely on. <clears throat> You have no faith in the guild? Faith? I don't have faith in anyone. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. We might want to keep this down. There's no one else talking in the inn and there's no, like, loot playing or anything. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone can just hear us. <laughs> Let's see. You won't have that problem with me. Except for that one time. And maybe future times, but it's fine. I hope not. This is an important job. I have a competitor called Hunning Brumidery that I want to put out of business. I also want to know how they managed to get the place up and running so quickly. Where do I begin? Head to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun and look for Malus Machius. He'll fill you in on all the details. Alright. Who runs the show at Hunning Brumidery? Some layabout named Sabjorn. Been a thorn in my side for the last few years now. All right. Sabjorn seems like more than just friendly competition. Not a day goes by that I don't regret letting Sabjorn get as far as he did. In only a few short years, he's taken that bile he calls mead to market and a chunk of my profits with it. I can't imagine where he found the gold to take it to market so quickly. She's awful. <laughs> so get rid of him and he's no longer a threat. Exactly. With Sabion in prison, his meadery will be forced to close. Then I swoop in and take over the place. No more competition. Why strike now? The Golden Glow estate job has undoubtedly interrupted the supply of honey I need to make my mead. Sabion could use this interruption to his advantage and collect a larger share of the market. I can't have that. All right. Cool, cool. One more time, in case I wasn't clear. You butcher this job, and you will be sorry. I forget, can I butcher this job? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I hope not. All right. Jeez, one ominous blue glow coming from down there, huh? Well, when next we come back, we will, I suppose, head back to Whiterun. Maybe we'll even begin there. Because we may be doing, you know, 
some clerical work. We'll get a whole bunch of inventory management dealt with, crafting, all that business, right? Or hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we'll get all that done. Anyway, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. And what better thing to read than a terribly interesting book? Honestly, I think we've got it on us, right? Let's see. Let's see here. Yes, the Riften Home Decorating Guide, right? We should go through all of these, right? And I think the perfect time to do it is shortly after we have upgraded the corresponding house. And last time we did upgrade Riften's, uh, the Honeyside house, but you know, hey, we wanted to finish out Herbane's bestiary, bestiary. All right, Riften, Home Decorating Guide. Welcome to your new home. This decorating guide provides a list of packages that you can purchase from the steward of the hold. Each package contains furnishings and decor for a specific part of your house, and these will be delivered and placed for you upon purchase. All you need to do is provide the gold and the steward will take care of the rest. The next time that you visit your home after making your purchases, you will see your new decorations and furnishings in place. This will also be a good litmus test for whether or not this is different enough between each decorating guide to like discern whether or not we should in fact read every one of them, right? Because <laughs> I think it was something similar existed in Oblivion and there were, were a, a fair, a small amount of insights that made it worth reading each one, right? Maybe the same will be true here. Kitchen. This package will provide furnishings and decor for your kitchen, which is, which is the room immediately beyond your home's front door. This includes the lighting of the fire. Bedroom. Adds beside tables, a dresser, and a small table with two chairs to the master bedroom. This also includes an upgrade to the bed itself. Alchemy Laboratory. This package will place an alchemy crafting table in your basement along with some shelves and other decor. Enchanting Laboratory. This package will place an item enchanting table in your basement, along with some shelves and other decor. Also includes a few practice dummies to test your new enchantments on. Children's Bedroom. Adds a comfortable child's bedroom to your cellar, including two beds, a wardrobe, dresser, play area, and wall hangings. If you have previously purchased the enchanting laboratory, these furnishings will replace it, and vice versa. Garden. When you purchase this package, the small patch of land adjacent to your house will be planted with a wide range of herbs, vegetables, and other plants native to Skyrim. Well, yeah, that was terribly uninteresting. <laughs> I don't know if we'll get anything good out of these. I'm not sure. Maybe they're not worth reading. I don't know, because it seemed very generic, like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll do them anyway. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>